Welcome to University Analytics, powered by Microsoft Power BI. In this video, you will learn how to navigate the platform and utilize its primary features and functionality. First, log in to University Analytics at https analytics.pepperdine.edu forward slash bi using your Pepperdine network ID and password. Once logged in, under the Browse menu, open the desired subfolder. For purposes of this demonstration, we will look at the enrollment report in the enrollment folder. Note that each report has multiple pages accessible via tabs at the bottom. You may adjust the page view by going to the View menu and selecting your preferred view depending on your screen resolution. On each page, you will see a Details and Definitions button. Clicking this button opens up a new window with information about the report and its contents, coming directly from the university's data dictionary, which provides definitions of the data elements within that particular report. Clicking any of the hyperlinks within this window will take you directly to the data cookbook where you may log in to view additional information if desired such as technical definitions, history, etc. Above the button is the Pepperdine Business Intelligence logo, which takes you to BI's main website. The question mark icon on each page takes you to the Office of Business Intelligence, or BI's, help site. Each page has a set of slicers along the top or the left-hand side, which allow you to filter data according to your needs. A slicer may allow you to make a single selection, select multiple values by using the control key, or select all. For multi-select slicers, you can clear selections by clicking on the eraser icon to reset the slicer to all values. Or, if a Select All box is available, simply check or uncheck this box as desired. You may also filter data across the page by clicking on a particular data set within a grid or visual. To revert back, simply click the selected data set again. The filter icon that appears at the top right corner of every grid or visual if you hover over it, we'll show you how data are being filtered for that particular item, either through your filter selections or on the back end. Note that if you wish to further filter the pre-selected values, you may do so by expanding the filter pane located on the far right of the page. For example, hovering over the filter icon for this line graph, shows that all five schools have been selected and only five specific academic years. School and academic year are not filters available on this page, so these have been preset for you. If you expand the filter pane, you may choose a single school and all of the visual visuals will adjust accordingly. The focus mode icon located next to the filter icon, allows you to maximize the selected grid or visual to your screen. You may also utilize the filter pane within this view. To return, simply click Back to Report. Within a grid or visual, you have several options for viewing data via the ellipses menu, such as Sort, sort by and sort order, export, which exports the raw data from the visual as a CSV file, and spotlight. And if you wish to see the data behind a visual in grid format, you can select show data. You can also sort the data within a grid by clicking on the respective column header. 
If the data within a grid or visual is part of a hierarchy, you will see the option to drill up, drill down, or expand the hierarchy. If there is no option to drill or expand, it means there is no hierarchy or you are already at the lowest level. For example, in the bar chart for actively enrolled student count by academic year and school, expanding to the next level allows you to view each school's count broken out from the others in a cluster bar chart by academic year. Since this elongates the visual, you can choose focus mode to maximize the chart. Click back to report to return and drill up to return the chart to its original state. If you want to see the data for a visual in grid format or see them side by side, select show data from the menu. By default, the chart and grid display horizontally. You can choose switch to vertical layout to see them side by side. To print a report or visual, or to save it as a PDF, you have several options. Under File, Print, you can print the full page, all visuals, as well as save the full page to a PDF. To print or save a single visual and or grid, go to either Focus Mode or Show Data then choose File, Print. Lastly, you may save any report as a favorite by going back to the folder navigation, clicking on the ellipses menu of the desired report, and selecting Add to Favorites. The report now appears under your Favorites menu, which also appears in the Power BI mobile app. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on using University Analytics at Pepperdine. If you have any additional questions, feedback, or requests, please email us at obi at pepperdine.edu.